Hey guys, Balubish here. So, today I'm gonna teach you how to render HDR videos. It's easy as hell if you have Premiere Pro. So, I'm gonna start that up. And I'm not gonna render the video right now. I already did it. And I can tell you it takes quite a while to render so we're gonna do a new project just name it HDR and we need a file this is Dark Souls gameplay add the file and we're not gonna add anything else we're just gonna use HDR so go to export and I usually like to uh, render at 4k but you can use any resolution you want and here's how you choose 4k oh, or uh, HDR Profile high 10 HDR 10 Rec color 2020 color primaries You have to box that one in Then you open high dynamic range HDR shortened and I usually render maximum depth and The video I'm gonna show you I rendered with 65 65 uh, target bitrate and 85 maximum and use maximum render quality that's how you do uh, HDR in uh, Premiere Pro and the difference is quite a lot actually well not quite a lot but but the video pops even on a non HDR screen so now you know how to do it so let's turn this off and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna open and play both videos side by side so this is the raw raw footage and this is the H HDR and you clearly see right away that um, the picture is much more colorful in uh, the HDR processed video so I'm gonna play it here and uh, let you guys watch the difference If I can,
So there you got an example video how the difference is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and think about if you really need an uh, HDR screen or not. I'm pretty sure an HDR screen is really, really nice look, uh, looking picture on. But it also makes me wonder if you really need it when I can see the difference on a regular monitor. At, as long as the source is HDR. So yeah, I'm not sure about that. But that's how you render HDR video in Premiere Pro. So yeah. See you guys next time.